So in this video, I'm going to show you the process that I go through uh, for all of my mixes that I upload onto the channel um, in terms of getting them ready for people to download and listen to or for me to upload to SoundCloud or Mixcloud or in this case um, to my subscribers on Patreon. So first thing we need to do is obviously record the mix. So I do that on my other laptop, which I DJ from, record it in Tractor, that spits out a WAV file, which I can then copy to an SD card or a USB drive and bring over to this, which is my main computer. And then the next thing we need to do is get the software that we're going to use. So open up a web page, and if you've not already got Audacity, I can't recommend it enough. This is a free open source piece of software that is used for editing audio. I've, I've been using this for about 15 years. I think it's absolutely incredible that it's free. So search for Audacity on Google. Click the top link, audacityteam.org. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Uh, this is what the interface looks like. And this is the download button. So it's available for Windows and Mac and Linux. So pick your platform, get it downloaded, get it installed. Once it's installed, click open. And this is what you'll be presented with. So this big gray space in the center, this is where we're going to put our audio file to work on. So what we need to do is import that from wherever we've got it saved. So top left, you want to click file and open. And then this folder, you'll see that we've got two audio files entitled FSH Patreon Bonus Mix December 2022 Parts 1 and 2. Now, there's a reason why there's two parts, and I'll tell you that in a sec. But what we want to do is highlight these and hit open. And that's going to open a second window, and it's going to start importing both files. Now, the reason why there's two parts to this is because I made a mistake in the middle of this mix. Now, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, learning like DJing and recording directly to a cassette or whatever, a mistake in the mix usually meant that you had to go back and start again. But that doesn't have to happen anymore. So what we'll do is we'll go into the first part and we'll I'll play you I'll play you the mix and you can hear where the mistake is and then I'll show you how to splice them together. So if I hold down control and roll up on my mouse or scroll up on the trackpad on my laptop um, you'll be able to see that we we are zooming in and out. Um, so I think around about here is kind of where it all went a little bit wrong. So let's have a little listen together and we can see if we can we can pick out the bit that went wrong. So it's nothing too drastic. I think the problem I had with this when I was recording it was the, the track that's coming in was the Alex K remix of Snap, Rhythm as a Dancer. And I, th I think I just wasn't happy with the bass line swap on it. It was a tune that I was kind of unfamiliar with. So these Patreon bonus mixes, I put them together for all the patrons that support the channel. And every mix every month is made up from requests that people send to me. So sometimes I have those tracks and sometimes I don't. And sometimes I'm DJing with songs that I've only kind of listened through kind of briefly once. And I'm not sure where the bass lines come in and where vocals start and stuff. So if I ever make a mix where I'm not quite happy with it, what I do is I pause the recording or I stop the recording. I go back like 30 or 40 seconds to earlier in the track and I start it playing again and I record again. And I take those two sections and I splice them together like we're about to do now. So if we go over to part two um, and we're going to just, again, control and the roller in my mouse or you can use the buttons at the top there to zoom in and out as well and um, if you click on the wave anywhere you like and drop this little playhead and then press j that will take you right back to the very start of the recording so what we're going to do now is on this second section which is the bit where the mix that i did was correct and then we went on from there we're going to find a nice little bit where we can kind of cut it and drop it in onto the the first section so straight off the bat these three little kick drums at the start here look like a really good place just because we want to find we want to get somewhere that's kind of easy to identify when we go over to the other one so we can kind of remember where it was so what i'm looking for is a little peak at the start here and i'm looking for a little section where it kind of crosses over this center 
zero decibel line and this looks like the perfect place so I'm gonna drop my playhead there and I'm gonna zoom out and what I'm gonna do is if I hover over this playhead you'll see there's a little, a little pointing finger comes up hold down on that with the left mouse button and drag all the way to the end that's gonna highlight the rest of this mix and then control and X or right click and copy uh, and then we're going to go over to the first one and what we need to do now is try and find those three little kick drums in the first part of the mix I think it was quite a way back uh, I think this is them yeah let's have a listen that's it so what we're looking for now is that first kick drum and that first little peak and there it is that's the peak there so we're going to zoom right in click where it crosses the center line doesn't have to be super accurate we're talking about like hundredths of a second here you won't hear any skips or jumps zoom out from there uh, highlight the playhead all the way to the end press delete and then we're just going to paste so control and v or right click and paste the section from part two so i'm just going to go back and listen just to make sure that, that sounds right and we've got it in the right place <laughs> sounds good to me so once we stop playing we can get rid of this little line get rid of that and that's it so the mix is now spliced together um, and the next thing that we need to do is to get it ready in terms of volume to listen to online now there's lots and lots of things that you can do to a mix you can master it you can use limiters you can use compressors you can use normalization for me personally I don't I don't really mind about all that kind of stuff I try and get the I try and get the way the mix sounds and the dynamic the dynamics of it sounding good as I'm in the mix, I try and make sure that things aren't clashing too loud or too quiet or whatever, so that I don't have to worry about kind of like mastering it afterwards. There's there's only so much you can fix. If you don't nail it on the decks, you're not you're gonna struggle to sort it outside of the decks. So the next thing we want to do is kind of just get this louder. As you can see, there's a lot of empty space at the top of this waveform where the, the track isn't quite as loud as it as it as it could be. And I know that from my own experience of listening back to my mixes on like my phone or with headphones or in the car or whatever sometimes it can be a little bit quiet so all we're going to do is highlight the entire thing so if you press ctrl and a that'll select all and then menu options at the top we're going to go to effect we're going to choose amplify and it's going to pop up a little dialog box so you can see here that it's telling me that to get up to zero db which is this peak amplitude it's saying it wants to add one just under one and a half decibels now this next bit comes with a warning. I don't want to start a war over clipping and going into the red and all this kind of stuff. But if you look at the top of these little peaks, the stuff that's the highest is the stuff that's the loudest. And for the majority of this mix, it's well under those peaks. So if I amplify this to zero dB, what we're going to get is all these little peaks are going to get amplified up to zero. The rest of the mix underneath it might be like, two decibels one and a half decibels quieter it's not going to make a huge amount of difference so what i do for my mixes that i'm posting online by default is i set the peak amplitude to just over the clipping point two and a half decibels so what you see in there is it's going to add just under four db of amplification now it won't let me click on okay here because i haven't got allow clipping selected so if we allow clipping on that little checkbox and then hit okay You'll see now that it's going to start applying amplifier to this whole thing now like i say i don't want a debate in the comments about is clipping okay is it acceptable this and that or whatever use your ears that's what i've always said i always use my ears if something doesn't sound loud enough to me i make it louder if something sounds distorted to me once i've done that i go well that was a mistake i can hear it distorting now so don't do that next time it's all about trusting your own judgment it's all about using your ears if it sounds good to you then that's fine if it doesn't, then, you know, do something about it kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of it. I know that there's a lot of rules and you shouldn't do this and you're not allowed to do that and you can't push things into blah, blah, blah. I I don't care. I've been putting mixes online for the best part of 20 years and I've never had any issues with them sounding awful. So, you know, it is what it is. So once that's done, 
give it a sec and you'll see that the whole thing has now fattened out. It's all a lot louder than it was. If you look at this section here, you'll see that it kind of looks a bit like a bit rowdy, but if we zoom in, you'll, you'll realize that you shouldn't really trust your eyes because we're still at that point where it's only the very tops of these peaks which are touching that line. The body of the track, kind of this center section, is well below the clip points. If we just listen to this, you'll see that on this level meter at the top, the playback level, it barely, barely, barely registers touching into the red. Again, I don't want an argument about it. If you want to talk to me in the comments, that's absolutely fine. But to me, that sounds fine. It, it won't sound distorted. It'll sound nice and loud. I'll be able to get it nice and loud on my headphones and I'll be able to enjoy the music, which is, at the end of the day, what it's all about. So from there, we're pretty much done. All I need to do now is just kind of trim the start and the end. So again, if we zoom in and press J and go back to the start, you'll see that there's like a few seconds of the track here where there's like silence. So I'll probably take it back kind of just about a second from before where the track starts. Delete that section. Maybe take a little bit more off it. Hit K, go all the way to the end. Zoom back out, listen to the end. Leave it a second till all the sound is gone. Highlight that, drag, delete. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Mix done, ready to export. Um, so in terms of exporting, I would usually export anything that I'm exporting that's going to get uploaded to SoundCloud or MixCloud or that I'm going to use to make a video to upload to YouTube. I would always export that as a lossless quality file, whether that be a WAV or a FLAC. Always keep that quality as much as you can. But in this case, this is going on to Patreon where people who are subscribed can download this mix to their own phone or whatever to listen on the way to work or whatever. So I, I don't want people taking up like seven, 800 megabytes worth of space on their phone just to listen to this month's mix so i'm going to be exporting this one as an mp3 so if you hit file export export as mp3 um and then there you go so this is the folder where we're saving it we're just going to call it um bonus mix december now these options at the bottom are quite important when you get this software like out the box so to speak or when it's been downloaded fresh these might be different to what you see on my screen here but this is the this is the correct way to set it up for a full a full quality MP3, if you like. So you want your bitrate set to constant. You want your quality set to the highest, which is 320 kbps. Hit save. This will pop up a little dialog box where you can put your metadata or ID3 tags in, which is your basically your artist and title info, you, your cover art, any comments, that kind of thing. Um, so we're just going to put artist, forgot Scouse House, title, Patreon mix December 2022 um, album title or track number yeah you can fill all that stuff in if you like and it will save that to the file hit OK and that's done obviously depending on the speed of your computer and how much you've got going on on there it might take a couple of minutes or whatever to export but that is that is it so from start to finish getting a mix out of your DJ software into a wave editor splice together any mistakes and amplified to get it nice and loud sounding without distorting to export in the file in the right format that's kind of the thing from start to finish so hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions or anything anything i've not covered feel free to swing by into the comments and ask i will do my best to answer any questions i'm not an expert on this software i don't know what everything does i just know how to get it to do the things that i want it to do for all the things that i need to do for <clears throat> for the channel and whatever so yeah take it easy if you enjoyed it make sure you drop a like i will do some more tutorials at some point in the future this is the second one the first one was how to fix uh, vinyl rips in ableton if they're not quantized um so if that sounds like something if you recorded any vinyls and you're wondering why they don't they don't mix well in your dj software maybe there's an answer in that for you i'll leave a link to that downstairs in the description um Make sure you swing by the shop. We sell merch on the channel. If you've enjoyed this, um, like I say, drop a like and I will catch you in the next one. Uh, yeah, Forgotten Scouse House signing off. Take it easy.